Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today with a look of the Nile Mosaic of Palestina. The Nile Mosaic of Palestina. It's about 17 feet long, 13 feet wide, and there's a particular look on there where it says there is a leopard crocodile, but many astute observers see a dinosaur there. Now, I'm going to let you make that decision. You might say, well, this is uh, 2,000 years ago. They didn't have the ability to really draw good. Look at the other detail. And this is just a portion of the much larger mosaic. This is just a portion on this uh, massive mosaic done by the Romans. And they were fascinated with all things Africa, this type thing. You see the detail, it's fantastic. I would say that that detail is just right and looks like, let me pull this over. That dinosaur. This is just another in a very long line. There's many books out on this. Uh, I want to say the collapse of evolution. That's not, oh, the evolution handbook by Vance Farrell. I think he goes into all the spottings of dinosaurs throughout the history, you know, all this kind of thing. So um, the Nile mosaic, in my mind, definitely shows a dinosaur. And I think combined with all the other evidences, like soft tissue, blood being found on dinosaur fossils now, um, you know, there's just so many things that people are finding uh, human footprints with uh, dinosaur footprints. There's just so many evidences that this, I think, is just another evidence that dinosaurs and humans did live together before and after the great flood of Noah. God bless you today in Jesus' name.